Good morning, Timmy and Bethy. Today it is February 15th, and I wanted to wish you all a happy Susan B. Anthony Day. And I was feeling a little bit nostalgic yesterday, so I was divulging to one of my co-workers about Susan B. Anthony Day with you guys, and she was curious about its origins. So today I'm going to go deeper into the discovery of our Susan B. Anthony Day tradition. It began years ago, on a cold February 15th. We were three young, lonely ladies trying to keep our minds off the commercial heartbreak of Valentine's Day. We wanted a day to ourselves, just us girls. And we chose Susan B. Anthony as our mascot for some reason. I tried to remember what she did, famously, historically. Something with voting. I don't even know, but it doesn't matter because that's how random our holiday was. We ate pizza, huddled in a nest of blankets, marathoned three ridiculous movies, and had chocolate fondue for breakfast. And sampled packets of flavored body massage oil from Tiffy's mom, because no sleepover is complete without some emotional scarring from a family member. But why do we still celebrate today? We haven't been together for it in ages. That's the reason though, isn't it? The friendship. A very unusual and special kind of friendship. The kind of friends that will be there in spirit, if not in person. Ones that will love your faults and silly obsessions, and will be helpful enough to point you in the right direction for your own good. Ones that will answer your questions, no matter how stupid. Will ponder the mysteries of the universe with you, and will do what they can to make your dreams come true. And will mark their calendar every year for not just your birthday, but for a simple day when you could all come together for the solace of a simple girls' night in. Happy Susan B. Anthony Day.